Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in the month of May. So let's get into this haul. If you don't know, the majority of the books that I download every single month are free. And so if you don't know how to find free ebooks, I have a tutorial link down below for you. Um, but yeah, all but maybe four of these were uh, free to read for me, free to download. All the other ones were either on Kindle Unlimited and I did purchase one book but I used credits to buy it. So technically it was free because I had a credit of 99 cents, but it technically wasn't free because I had to purchase it. Anyway, let's get into the haul. The first book that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited is The Orcs Empress, A Monster Romance, the third book in the Silver Fury trilogy by Lila Fay. This is the third book in her Orc Romance series. So I'm not gonna be reading the summary for this one because it will spoil the other two books. And yeah, this series is centered around a couple, Una and Ergen, and Una is a human woman and Ergen is an orc. And that's why I want to leave it at that. It's one of my favorite monster romance series. So this is the last book and I am ready to dive into it. Next is My Darling Arrow by Saffron A. Kent. I've never read a Saffron A. Kent, but I've heard amazing things about her and her books. So I thought I would snatch this one up when I saw it for free one day. This is now available to purchase for $5.99. Darling Arrow, I shouldn't be writing this. It's not as if I'm going to send you this letter. And there are a million reasons why. First of all, I was sent to this reform school as a punishment for a petty total inconsequential crime, not to ogle the principal's hot sun around the campus. Second of all, you're a giant jerk. You're arrogant and moody and so cold. Sometimes I think I shouldn't even like you, but strangely, your coldness sets me on fire. The way your athletic body moves on the soccer field and the way your powerful thighs sprawl across your motorcycle make me go inappropriately breathless, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is that you, Arrow Carlisle, are not only the principal's hot son, you also happen to be the love of my sister's life. And I really shouldn't be thinking about my sister's boyfriend or rather fiance. I overheard a conversation about the ring that I shouldn't have. Now I can only stop writing you these meaningless letters and I'll never send and you'll never read. Never yours, Salem. Next I downloaded Hot Secrets by Lisa Renee Jones, the first book in her Tall, Dark and Deadly series. This is still available to download for free. The Walker Brothers, Tall, Dark and Deadly, those three brothers run a walker security. Each brother is unique in his methods and skills, but all share key similarities. They're passionate about those they love, relentless when fighting for a cause they believe in, and all believe that no case is too hard, no danger too dark. Dedication is what they deliver. Results are their reward. Royce Walker, a former FBI agent who's opened a private security firm with his brothers, has always had the hots for the prim proper assistant district attorney, but considered her hands off because of a family connection. However, when danger threatens Lauren, he isn't willing to stand by and watch her get hurt. Now the passion for survival is only rivaled by the passion burning between them, and that passion might just be the death of them both. Next, I downloaded Wild Wolf Claiming, a Howl's Romance by Grace Goodwin. I've been really liking Grace Goodwin's books recently, her alien romances, so I saw this wolf shifter one for free so i thought i'd get it and it's also still free if you want to check it out lily winborn is tired of her controlling family and her ex-boyfriend's inability to move on her hometown is too small and her family is a mess determined to start over she heads west to idaho to a new campus and a new life little does she know that they were watching her for a reason she doesn't know what she was born to become but they do and they will let her go so easily. When her car breaks down on the side of a mountain road, a savior appears from nowhere to help her. His name is Cade, and with one touch of his hand, her world explodes. The moon is full, desire runs hot, and no matter what her re reckless heart longs to feel, her body will make its own demands. Will she surrender to a new mate? or resist her wild wolf claiming. I then downloaded The Pool Boy by Penny Wilder, different by Nikki Sloan. It's not Nikki Sloan. <laughs> this is still available to download for free if you'd like. The second I saw her, I had to have her. When my friend asked me to cover for him at his pool cleaning job, I would figured I'd make some extra cash. I didn't expect to find myself face to face with a sweet set of curves named Vera. She then started strutting around in her bikini. I guess her goal is to piss her rich dad off. I'm clearly not the kind of guy he wants her near, but if she thinks I'll let her toy with me and not follow through, I've got a surprise for her. A huge surprise that wants to rip through my pants. <laughs> I'll screw her in the pool shed, the garden, and right in her room where her parents sleep down the hall. I don't care if her dad finds out or not. This girl 
is mine. I then downloaded His Highland Rose by Willa Blair. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $1.99. Ian Brody is a fierce warrior and passionate lover, but to prove he's responsible enough to follow his ailing father as the clan's chief, he must give up the lasses and find a bride quickly. He doesn't expect to fall for any of the Rose Chief's three daughters, but he can't get one out of his mind or heart even when he discovers she is not who she claims to be. Skilled writer and archer Amy Rose values her freedom. She doesn't want to be anyone's bride, not even deliciously and annoyingly sexy Ian Brody's. But her father wants an alliance with Ian's clan and he's chosen her to forge it. Unaware she could be sealing the fate she desperately wanted to avoid, Annie falls under Ian's seductive spell at the spring known in old tales as the fairy pool. But when her father suddenly decides against their match, Annie discovers the love she never expected to find with Ian. To win her, Ian must risk losing everything he values, the clan he was born to lead, and even Annie, the woman he sees for who she truly is, his only love. I then downloaded Butterflies in Paris by Shannon O'Connor, and this was pitched as a sapphic romance novella, but it doesn't exist anymore on Amazon, so... I don't know. I know it's a female, female novella. That's all I know. Um, and the cover is an illustrated one. So the page is not found anymore on Amazon. So I don't know what that means. I then downloaded Heart Flame by Melissa Blinko. This is a download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. I of course downloaded this because it's a monster looking romance, but let's read the summary. Drakian just wants to jump into a different dimension and live the rest of his days in peace without the tyrannical ruling of the Dragon Queen. Falling out of the sky and running into his mate wasn't part of that plan. On top of everything, she's of a different species. She calls herself a human and her dimension is beyond strange. When a single touch from her triggers the mating frenzy, he tries desperately to ignore the tempting female. But when her life is threatened, he can no longer deny what's in front of him. The reason his second dormant heart was set aflame, she is his heart flame. I then downloaded Silent Surrender by Elizabeth Scott. This was free when I purchased it, but it's not anymore. However, you can either get it off of Kindle Limited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Prince Creston Sumantra's wicked playboy ways suit him perfectly, but after his father orders him to retrieve a lost princess for a neighboring king, he pushes himself to prove worthy of the important task. Locating the young woman in America, he's astounded when the gorgeous beauty rudely ignores him until he realizes she's deaf. Alicia Liz Mackenzie never gives up. A starving artist paying off her deceased mother's medical bills, she has no time for the pretty boy imploring her to accompany him. But when he convinces her she holds a royal birthright, she's swept into a whirlwind of life-changing decisions and a handsome temptation. Vowing to help her adjust to being the newfound heir, Creston battles his fierce attraction while believing he's not the right person to govern by her side. But as Liz's feelings grow for the kind man behind the womanizer image, she gives her body and trust to the one already stealing her heart. Will they resist the passion between them or submit to the love of a lifetime? I then downloaded Captive by Nina K. Westra. This is still available to download for free. As a member of the Arcadian army, Navoki has no love for night elves. Her people and theirs have been at odds for centuries thanks to the elves' penchant for violence and hatred of humans. Every citizen of Ardani knows not to approach their land, a vast forest made of shadow and magic that eats outsiders alive. So when she's taken prisoner by Aruna, a night elf with two perceptive eyes and a frightening otherworldly visage, she has little hope of surviving. But when he shows her unexpected compassion, Novoki begins to see her captor in a new light and starts to question everything she thought she knew about the his mysterious people. Beneath his quiet, cold exterior lies a wry wit and a surprising sense of humor. And she's beginning to think he feels the same troublesome attraction between them that she does. Now as a deadly magic and the threat of war loom over them both, Aruna is the only person standing between her and death at the hands of his bloodthirsty kin. As the two of them grow closer, Novoki wonders, would a night elf ever betray his own people to protect a human? I then downloaded Wild Rebel by Laurelyn Page. Whenever I see any Laurelyn Page book for free, I will snag it up because I've been loving her books. This book is not free anymore, however, but you could purchase it for $4.99. We were supposed to run away after graduation. When she didn't show at her meeting place, I got brave and went after her. That was a mistake. I left bloodied and bruised. 
I had no choice but to walk away. Years passed, I traveled, settled halfway around the world, made enough money that I didn't have to look back, but I never got over her. Then out of the blue, she calls. And what she asks for, the favor she wants, I never thought I'd be willing to take a life. But the truth is, and always has been, I do anything for her. So it looks like this is the first book in a trilogy that sounds wild, like the cover says. Next, I downloaded off Kindle Unlimited, Cassette's Haven by A.G. Wilde. This is the third book in the Rivs Sanctuary series. I'm not gonna be reading the summary for this one just because this is a third book in a series. And if you wanna know my thoughts on the two other ones that I've read a part of the series, go check out my May wrap up um, because I loved both of them. I then downloaded Into the Wild, an Elven Romance by Courtney Lee. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $1.99. Elves are the monsters in every human's stories except mine. There's a wall between the Marillion and the Wilds, dividing two societies that nearly wiped each other out in the biggest race war of all time. Beyond the wall, there's nothing but danger and the elves that almost destroyed mankind. I never wished to cross that threshold until my marriage to a cruel man forced me to do the unthinkable. Now I'm on the run for murder and the only place I know my past won't follow is into the wilderness all human fear. I don't know what I thought would happen when I crossed the wall. Of course, I was hoping to never cross paths with an elf only to be thrown over the shoulder of one. Theoden, however, isn't the one, isn't one of the savages from the stories. He's as powerful as he is beautiful and despite his hatred for humans, he swears never to hurt me. We'll see. I want to start over, but it turns out my past did follow me and it has many faces. Now my new life is under threat and my growing love for a man who might not be able to accept me is making me question where I really belong. I then downloaded The Shield and the Thistle by Jillian, ooh, this is gonna be a hard name to pronounce, Bondarchuk. Bondarchuk? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $1.99. After an unexpected breakup, all Maggie Washington yearns for is a fresh start. What she gets is far more than she bargained for. When she stumbles upon a long forgotten magic, she's ripped from everything she's known and thrust into a world where magic is real. Witches aren't a fairy tale and a faded love isn't just something you read about in books. Colin is a fierce warrior among his people proud of the power and respect he commands. So when a peculiar woman in strange clothing claims she's from another time, disrupting the predictability of castle life, the last thing he expects is to fall in love with her. When her present reignites a decades old feud with a neighboring clan, Maggie and Colin must decide if love designed by fate and threatened by magic is worth the sacrifice and battle to keep it. I then downloaded Bringing Delaney Home, a second chance romance by Lee Kilrain. This is still available to download for free. Quinn Gates, crush on his best friend sister, check. Five years later, totally over it, check. Only his best friend says her sister is in trouble and needs Quinn to bring her home. Yes, yeah, so now Delaney is back and that lie he told himself, the one about being over her, not even close. Delaney Lyons, tour in Afghanistan as an army nurse, check. Five years later, a purple heart, survivor's guilt, and a drunk pity party for one on the kitchen floor, check, check, and check. Only her little sister's best friend comes barging into Delaney's life and drags her home. Yeah, so now she's back, and the lie she tells herself, the one about not being attracted to Quinn, not even close. Second chances don't come around often. Delaney gets a second chance at life and love, but is she strong enough to take it? Quinn gets a second chance at the girl who got away, but is he strong enough to handle the woman she's become? I then downloaded Temptation, an older woman, younger man romance by TK Lee. This is still available to download for free. It was supposed to be a typical business trip to Hawaii. During the day, I'd put the final touches on the new location of my bakery. At night, I'd relax while sipping a glass of wine, but that all changes when I meet him. Sexy, intriguing, haunted and easily 15 years younger than me. I should walk away. The last thing I need after turning 40 is a midlife crisis in the form of an Australian Adonis. But something keeps me drawing back to him. So I make a proposition. One week, no names, no expectations. It's a perfect plan until I learn the true identity of my vacation flame. They say temptation can be dangerous. I didn't realize it could be so deadly. I then downloaded Gray Hair Don't Care by Karen Booth. This was available to purchase for free. However, it is not anymore. You could either get it on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. At 47, newly divorced makeup artist Layla Bennett is dreading her next steps, dating, meeting people, not letting herself go. But then she runs into Devon James and tries something different, sleeping with her sexy crush from college. Unfortunately, 
Uh, Leila confesses she was in love with Donovan all those years ago. He responds by leaving while she sleeps. The next morning, her gray hairs are practically taunting her. She knows she has to get it together, forget men, embrace her age, own her gray. Donovan James is a marketing genius, but his ex-wives will tell you nothing freaks him out like feelings. Three years after his one night stand with Lila, he's focused on his daughter's lifestyle company, but unprepared to meet the face of their new beauty brand. It's Lila. With stunning silver locks and new confidence, she's no longer swayed by his charms. When business starts booming, the universe seems intent on throwing them together time and time again. And suddenly two people convinced that romance was behind them are wondering if love would be what's next. I then downloaded Vicious Promise, a dark mafia arranged marriage romance by M. James. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. There's only one choice for this innocent bride, marry me, or die. I never wanted a wife, but when the Bratva tries to take what is promised to me, it's time to claim what's mine. I thought she'd be a burden, a nuisance, a wife I would lock away forever and forget about our wedding night. But Sofia Veretti turns out to be the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Sweet, innocent, and virginal. Too good for a ruthless killer like me. I'm not here to seduce her, I'm here to keep her alive, safe from everyone in Manhattan who wants her dead. The Bratva are coming to take her, to kill me but they don't know how vicious I can be when it comes to keeping my promises. I then downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited, Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett. Uh, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. After a wedding cake catastrophe, local decorator Tegan finds herself being helped by a solid wall of fur and fangs named Atlas. She's never met anyone like him and finds herself enamored by his wolfish charm. After their sweet encounter, Atlas invites her to his gym anytime she needs his cake lifting services. Tegan decides that instead she wants to lift the cakes herself. She signs up for a membership with Leviathan Fitness, determined to build her strength. Primal desires emerge as Atlas and Tegan test just how much their new love can lift and if there are any limits to what monsters and humans can do. And then the last book that I downloaded in May is Monsters in Love, Lost in the labyrinth a paranormal monster romance anthology by a wide range of authors um this is the one book that i purchased myself for uh 99 cents it was a credit so it is on kindle limited or you could purchase it for 5.99 if you'd wish and this is just an anthology filled with novellas written by um alien monster romance authors. And that's about it. There's a long list of authors, so I don't want to go too deep into it because I could be listing off a bunch of names. But anyways, there you have it. Those are the very many books that I ended up downloading in the month of May. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if you'd like to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a black heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.